Family of a Vancouver woman fatally stabbed in her home is demanding justice more than two years after her death. The victim's husband was arrested at the scene, but the trial has been delayed since fall of 2021. Fox 12's Julia Lopez joins us in studio. And Julia, you spoke with the victim's family today. That's right. Monica Morales' sister and best friend tell me they've felt unheard for the past two and a half years. They call what's happening an epidemic against women. She had the most infectious laugh. It was boisterous. <laughs> you couldn't help laugh when she laughed. It was the most beautiful thing in the world to have her in my life and to have, have that taken away has just been gut-wrenching. Monica Morales was known as star to those who loved her. Her sister Gina and her best friend Jen say her lifelong dream was to be a mother. It's just sad that someone took that away. And, you know, she she only got eight short years with her with her son, and that's so unfair. On October 7th, 2021, police were called to Star's Vancouver home to reports of an assault. Court filings say she was found with multiple stab wounds and died in the hospital. She lived in fear. She had the neighbors walk her in her home at night that she knew this would happen. And she tried so hard to get help. In July 2020, Starr asked the Clark County Courts for a permanent restraining order against her husband, Michael Murrah. In her request, she wrote she feared for her and her son's lives. Her request was denied due to what the county called a lack of evidence. Having gone through everything that she went through with this man and what he put her through and... She, she's the epitome of a strong woman. Murrow was arrested at the scene for his wife's murder. According to the probable cause affidavit, he was found outside the home holding a knife with apparent blood on his hands. Murrow told police he killed someone called Star Beast and later said he murdered his wife, quote, in cold blood. Heartbreaking. It's, I, I see what she went through. The fight that she had is now my fight. Over the past two and a half years, court records show Mara's trial has been postponed a total of seven times amid multiple requests for psychiatric evaluations and the hiring of three different attorneys. He's now due in court June 17th. We've lost a loved one. We've lost somebody that's very important to our family. and. It's hard to even get to mourn her because we've been fighting from day one. They say they've retained the help of the National Women's Coalition Against Violence and Exploitation to advocate for a jury trial. An attorney for Murrah called the move off base. Six months after the murder, Murrah was found fit for trial, but now Starr's family says they fear a potential insanity plea. Under Washington law, if Murrah were found not guilty by reason of insanity, he could petition the court for custody of his son, who was in the home at the time of the murder. The only thing that's made this man insane is probably sitting in jail for two years because he was completely competent and sane going in and planning um, what, he, what he did to Starr. I reached out to the Clark County District Attorney's Office, who told me they can't comment on a pending criminal case. In studio, Julia Lopez, Fox 12, Oregon.